everyone. My name is Kim and I'm the happiest cuck. Today we are continuing our tour up the coast to the state of Maine. When anyone brings up the state of Maine, no matter what, seafood is always a part of the conversation, whether it's shrimp, lobster, crab, or any kind of fish. Today we are making crock pot shrimp and clam chowder. With the addition of shrimp to our chowder, it's gonna be even better. So, I have all my things together. Do you have yours? Okay, like I always say, let's get cooking. Remove the bacon, put it on a paper towel, then we're going to saute our onions and add our garlic. And then we're going to put that into our crock pot and I will see you back at the counter. All right, our bacon is um, cooked, crispy and we're just going to leave it sit there. That's for the end. Our onions are slightly sauteed with our garlic and we're going to put that into our crock pot. Don't wash your pan yet. We're going to use that just like it is a little bit later on. To this, we are going to add our water and our clam juice. It's funny, if you smell this, it smells like the docks, the fishing docks. It's kind of funny. And then we're going to add our bouillon. I have some fresh thyme for my garden. And then we're going to add our potatoes and our pepper which is all in here and we're gonna just stir this up and we're going to let this cook in our crock pot on high for about four hours and then um, We'll be back and we'll continue working on this delicious clam and shrimp chowder in the next stage. All right, so here we are back at the stove. We're at the four hour mark and our potatoes are in our crock pot and they are tender and ready. So what I've done is I took our pan that we cooked our bacon and all of that and I added uh, uh, about two tablespoons of water and a pat of butter. I'm going to melt that. And while I do that, get all the bacon bits and the little bits that are stuck to the bottom of our frying pan from cooking our um, bacon and onions and garlic. And I actually cooked the shrimp in there. So. This has got some major flavors going on. Okay, once the butter is done and all melted, we are going to take our flour and we're going to pour it on the top. And we're just going to whisk that in. Slowly add our milk, our half and half. And the rest of our half 
and half. And then we're just going to bring this back to a simmer. And you'll see it starts to get thicker and thicker. And once it's thickened up, we're going to add this to our crock pot. And we'll add our, sh our shrimp and our scallops in. And we'll let it all cook for just a little bit longer, blend all those flavors, and it'll be it's time for soup. Don't walk away from this because it will stick. So you kind of want to make noise. Stir that. You can see it's starting to get thick. So we'll just keep stirring it. And when it starts to come to a bubbly, then we're going to turn the heat off. And then we'll be ready to put in our chowder in our crock pot. And don't worry if it seems thick. We still have a lot of liquid to incorporate into this. So it will be thick. Okay, I am going to turn the heat off and take this over to our crock pot where we are going to mix this in. Here we are back at the counter. Our all thickened. <laughs> so we're gonna very carefully pour this into our crock pot and we are also going to add our shrimp and uh, there we go we maxed out our crock pot oh put this back on high. We're going to let it cook for about another hour just to incorporate everything up. It'll thicken up. So, see you in an hour. Our chowder is all done and I have my bowl all ready to enjoy and i just wanted to say thank you for joining us here on the happiest cook as we conclude our little jaunt up the coast to maine um, we do appreciate all of you for watching and for subscribing uh, it's very much appreciated and until next week we will see you here back again at the happiest cook so, like I always say, let's get cooking and keep on cooking.